Okay, let's look at how we can do subtraction of mixed numbers that require regrouping uh, without any models, just how we would do it on pencil and paper. So this problem is 5 and 3 fourths minus 2 and 5 6. And I've purposely split this up into whole a uh, whole number category and a fraction category. This line you can think of as your decimal. The first thing that I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to find a common denominator. 4 and 6 don't work with each other, so I'm going to have to find some number that, uh, that works with both of them. And if I think about a least common multiple for, and for 4 and 6, some numbers that both of them go into, I'm going to just count by 6s, and my next number after 6 would be 12, and 4 does go into 12. So I'm going to use 12 as my common denominator. So I'm going to ask myself how many 6s go into 12, and there are 2. So I'm going to multiply this number by 2 over 2, or 1 whole, so I'm not changing the number. I'm just finding an equivalent fraction. And 4 times 3 equals 12, so I'm going to do the same thing over here. Again, I'm multiplying by 1 whole right here, so I'm not changing my fraction. 3 times 3 is 9. So now I have a common denominator, but the problem is I'm trying to do 9, whole, 9 twelfths minus 10 twelfths. And I can't do 9 minus 10 right now without getting a negative number. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come over here to this whole number part and I'm going to have to regroup. So I'm going to take one whole away from the whole number part and I'm going to add that whole back right over here. When I add that whole back right over here, it becomes a fraction and it's going to take the name or the denominator of what my fractions already have. So it's going to take the name of twelfths, and because it was one whole, it's going to be twelve twelfths. So now all together up here, I have nine twelfths plus twelve twelfths, which is twenty-one twelfths. I, for, now I want to do twenty-one twelfths, and I want to try to take away ten twelfths. Twenty-one minus ten gives me eleven twelfths. And back in my whole number column, I have four holes minus two holes, which gives me two holes. So my answer is two holes and 11 twelfths. Another problem, four and one ninth minus two and two fifths. Now in this problem, I'm going to do the same thing first. I'm going to look for a common denominator of nine and five. So if I count by nines, nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 45, 5 goes into. So I'm going to use 45 as my common denominator. 5 times 9 is 45, so I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by 9 over 9, so that I'm not changing my fraction. 2 times 9 is 18. And 9 times 5 is 45, multiply by 1 whole. And now I'm trying to do 5 45ths minus 18 45ths can't do that without getting a negative number. So I'm going to have to come over to here to my whole number, my 4 right here, and regroup. I'm going to take 1 away and I'm going to put that 1 whole back right over here. I'm going to add it back. So all I did was move that whole right over to the fraction column. So now over here I have 5 45ths plus 45 45ths. And the reason this is 45 45ths is that whole that I moved over here is going to take the name of the fractions. And because it's a one whole, it's going to be the whole thing, 45 out of 45. So all together on the top up here, I have 5 45ths plus 45 45ths is 50 45ths. Notice that that is an improper fraction, and it should be because I have one whole plus a little bit more. So this really should be an improper fraction. And when I do 50 minus 18, I'm going to get 32 40 fifths. And then when I do my whole number part, 3 holes minus 2 holes gives me 1 hole and 32 40 fifths.